All right, so we're going to learn how to post images on Canadian Antique Tractor with the new uh, image check. So first we're going to want to log in to our uh, Canadian Antique Tractor. All right, and then we're going to need a image check account. So if you don't have an image check account, uh, sign up and get one. You'll hit the sign up button that we just uh, had up there. And once you have a image check account, then you can log in and upload an image. So we want to put something on Canadian Anti Tractor here. So let's, uh, we'll pick a post. We'll post something just for a test. And uh, this posting images down here. So we want to post a response. So I'll Kevin do a little quick video tutorial. Let's hit post reply and get ready to put our our image in. So we go over to Image Shack, which we've logged into, and we want to upload a photo. So let's hit browse right there, and it will open up a web browser for a computer. Um, you want to see all files. There's a picture I want to upload. And I want to choose the size now. So uh, Kevin's requested that we put on ours at 640 by 480. That's the default image size on our forum. So we've chosen our file. It's up here. Um, we have the image size at 640 by 480. We don't need a label, the thumbnail. And now we can hit upload now. Now the image will upload. You'll see this green bar going. And we'll wait a second for it to happen. And uh, the faster your connection, the faster this will be. So, almost there. All right, so our image is finished uploading. Now it'll drop to this preview for images. So we'll say continue to the image links. Okay, so there's our image that we've uploaded. Now we're gonna wanna copy this forum code. If you double click it, it'll highlight the whole thing. Or you can take your mouse and swipe the whole thing if you're good at that. But the easiest way to do it is just double click it, then right click on it, hit copy, it copies this URL Go to Canadian Antique Tractor where you're replying or posting something. Right click in there. And we'll paste. And let's preview it. So we'll hit the preview button. And it will quickly load our image onto the web page. Um, it's resizing it right now. You can see down here it's still transferring the image. All right. So that's what our size will look like, our image now that it's on uh, Canadian Antique Tractor. So um, if you want to put something in front of it, this is where you'll type something now. And if you want to get rid of this part, you see where it says uploaded with imageshack.us. If you're posting multiple images, you'll just go down here into the place where you can edit it and take away that part. Right, and then you can put some text after. Right, preview it again. It's always good to preview before you post it. All right, so now we can choose to post it. We'll hit submit, and now the forum's loading it. Okay, so there's where we post it after with our reply. You can see now we've posted an image with text before and after it successfully. Now you'll have a couple of minutes where you can edit the post if you don't like the text or the picture. Uh, you also have a couple of minutes to delete it after the certain amount of time. I think it's three or five or seven minutes. I'm not quite sure. Uh, you will lose the function buttons, these uh, the edit, the delete post button. So uh, we're going to delete this because it's just a test. So let's hit delete post and confirm that we want to delete it. 
And that's it. That's how you post a message to our forum or a picture to the forum. So we're going to log out. When you're done with the forum, it's always good to log out of the Canadian Antique Tractor and log out of ImageHack. And that's it.